So today's video is all about my camera bag and more specifically the new one that I've just bought and put my new lenses in. You might have seen the unboxing video where I talked about getting new lenses and today I'm going to be showing you how that all fits into this new bag. This is what I'm going to be taking with me for my March spring break mega vlog trip going skiing out in Banff. So by the time you see this video, I will have already left for that trip. I'll be there in Banff. So that's going to be pretty interesting and I'll have all this stuff with me. So let's take a look at what's inside this camera bag. So this top down shot is not at all ideal. You can even see my feet down here, but it'll get the job done for what I want to show. So here is the bag itself. It's by a company called Giraffe, Graphy, I don't know. Uh, might be upside down for you, my bad. Um, but anyway, you can see right off the bat that we've got the bag right here, but then along this side, there's the tripod. And what's here is there's a couple of straps here and down there that keep this tripod in place. This is my k &F Concept tripod, cost me about a hundred bucks here in Canada. And it's really great because it folds up super compact. And then these straps really help keep it in place. This is the tripod. It goes up to 60, 65 inches, something like that. And it's got this amazing uh, ball head with a fluid panning action on it. So this is great for time lapses, long exposures, or if I need to set my camera down on something tall when I'm vlogging, this is what I'm gonna use. So then the rest of the bag um, is here. And you'll notice I still have the tag on it just because I just got it. And back here, you'll see there's two zippers. This is the main camera compartment. This is the laptop compartment. So if we open it up, you can see I've got my 13 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, this is the base model 2019, two Thunderbolt 3 ports. This is good. Um, it helps me back up my files. It, it can do some video editing work. And this is what I use to make all of my YouTube videos. This is it. And I know it looks really large in this frame right now. Let's get it out of here. Then the only other thing in this compartment is an extra microfiber cloth because you never really can have too many of these. Why not, right? So if we open it up, you'll instantly be greeted by insane chaos. There is a lot of stuff in here, a lot. So let's start going through it. Obviously computer accessories over here. So I've got the MacBook Pro charger here, kind of separate from those because it doesn't really fit well in this kind of drawstring pocket here. So I've got that, I've got the cable for it right here. So this is the MacBook Pro charging cable. Then of course, MacBook Pro owner, you gotta have the obligatory dongle. This is what I use, it's from CL Day. A lot of this stuff will overlap from my student's everyday carry video, so you can check that out for some more info. Basically, this one's USB-C to USB-A, USB-C charging pass-through, and a couple of display outputs in case I need those. So, with the limited number of ports on the MacBook Pro 13 inch, this is great because I can charge while still having access to a full-size USB-A port. Very key. Then this over here is my one terabyte Seagate external hard drive. Let's get down into the main compartment. Let's start over here in the camera compartment. I've got an extra EOS ADD camera strap. Never know when you might need one of those. I have the extra dividers for this bag in case I need to rejig something. I've switched out some gear or I'm not bringing everything with me. Got to have those. Then I've got the battery charger. I keep the extra battery that I own in this battery charger. It's just easier to keep track of it that way. Over here on this side, we've got two ND filters. This is a KNF Concept uh, variable ND filter. It's, I think it's like two to five stops or something like that. Then this is a newer ND1000 filter. It's just pitch black. It's good for getting some extra colors out of things. I tried it out a couple times. It's pretty good. So those are my ND filters. Both of them are 67 millimeters in diameter because two out of three of my lenses use that diameter. So that's that story. 
Over here on this side, we have a light. This is such a cool light. Variable brightness. It's not rechargeable. It takes four triple or double A batteries, sorry. Uh, it can also be DC powered. I haven't picked up an adapter for it. This is really good. Just I use it mostly for photos if I just need to fill a background or something uh, very quickly. This is key. Then I've got the lens caps for the lens that is on my camera, which is the Canon EOS 80D. There it is right there. I'm looking to upgrade to the 90D somewhere down the road because it has 4K um, and uh, 120 frames per second. But this is the Canon 18 to 135 kit lens. As you can see, it goes all the way out to 135. That is so key. Um, and obviously the flip out LCD screen, the mirror viewfinder as you find in all DSLRs, all the buttons, controls, and then these are the lens caps for this lens if I need to switch it out for one of my other ones, which we'll go into right now. First lens is the Canon 10 to 18 EFS image stabilized um, lens. This one is super good because the Canon 80D, as many of you probably know, has an APS-C size sensor, which means it has a 1.6 crop. So that 18 to 135 is actually a 29 to 216 millimeter. So this 10 millimeter lens gets me out to 16 millimeters, uh, which is really good for vlogging, capturing wide shots. And what's also great for vlogging is the built-in stabilization and autofocus. It is killer and it's so good. And as mentioned, a 67 millimeter diameter filter thread for those ND filters. Moving on, this center compartment contains the first party Canon flash. Showed this thing off in the previous What's in My Camera Bag video. Uh, let me see if I can get it out. This is the flash. It's pretty good. Basically only use it for photos if I need, you know, some light indoors. Can be very reflective though. So I use this with caution. But what's also in here, and I mentioned this previously as well, is a little plate so you can just set it up on like a side surface. It doesn't have to be mounted to the camera if you've got a microphone from there or you don't want the light coming in from that angle. This back compartment here is another carryover from my student tech everyday carry. This is the little pouch with charging cables, dongles, microfiber cloths, USB hub, display adapter. There are a few things that should be in here that aren't right now, but that's because I'm using them somewhere else um, right at this moment. So that's the little pouch. This is really good because once again, this bag does not have uh, any smaller compartments for small accessories like this. Also in this back pocket, we have a warm gel for the Canon flash. We have an extra 9 volt battery for the Rode VideoMic Pro, which I'm going to get to in a minute. And we've got a couple cleaning supplies. This one's over here. This is kind of a blower style thing. You might have seen that before. And this is a brush pen, as you can see. And then there's also on the other side kind of a microfiber cleaning surface, great for cleaning your lenses. Because when you're out in the field, you don't want your glass to be dirty. Kind of teased it just a second ago. Over here is the Rode VideoMic Pro hot shoe mount, on off switch, gain, and then your standard non removable pre attached 3.5 millimeter cord. Third lens in this bag, right down here, is the Nifty 50, the Canon 50 millimeter f1.8 lens. Obviously, with the 1.6 times crop on the Canon 80D, this is actually an 80 millimeter lens, but that's fine. That's good. Um, 80 millimeters is great for portraits, and obviously, f1.8 is perfect for those blurred background shots. This takes a 49 millimeter filter thread, so uh, yeah, nobody makes those. So if I was ever going to use an ND filter with this, I would probably just get a step down ring to go with so I could use my other 67 millimeter threads with this lens. It's super small and compact, which is why it rests here and then the Rode VideoMic Pro just goes on top of it. Finally, you may have noticed over here, this whole side is drone land. So I've got four propeller guards in here. 
These are great um, because the DJI Spark uh, doesn't come with them. I didn't feel like buying the first party DJI ones. And they have landing gear legs for taking off on uneven terrain. Very handy. Next up is the official DJI controller. This thing is great. It folds up nice and compact. I wish you could remove the sticks, but you can't. So it just kind of lives kind of right here in this pocket. And then of course is the DJI Spark itself. It kind of fits in there diagonally. Uh, there's my Government of Canada registration number. The battery is in there. Um, all the propellers are in good shape right now, but I do keep an extra propeller in here just in case. Never know when you might need that. Hey everybody, it's future Kyle here. After I shot that other part of the video last weekend, I realized I completely forgot about a couple of things and I also got something new in the mail. So let's talk about those things right now. The first thing is this low pro case that I keep kind of behind the camera in the bag where those foam inserts were in the video I showed. This thing houses my action camera, the Ricoh WGM2. This guy shoots 4K 30 FPS video, super great to have. It can even do time lapses and stills. So very, very versatile. But as you probably can guess, there's a lot of things you need to keep with you if you're using an action camera, such as mounts. So here is the official GoPro adhesive mount, and this is the um, slide-in mount that connects to it. And then I've also got a GoPro to quarter inch adapter right here. And then I also have the GoPro screw thing uh, to you know keep it all together, obviously. So all of that stuff nicely fits into this low pro case. Got it at Best Buy a couple years ago for 10, 15 bucks. And that's the action camera I keep on hand. The other thing I got new this week was the Manfrotto mini tripod. And this thing actually rocks. I was kind of doubting it a little bit. I was like, mm, is it really gonna be that good? But man, this thing is sturdy. It is built so well. It has a nice wide base when you fold out the legs and the locking mechanism for the ball head is dynamite. It can easily hold this setup I'm shooting on right now, which is the Canon 80D, the um, Canon EFS 10 to 18 millimeter lens and the Rode VideoMic Pro. Easily handles that, great for vlogging. And it's a great alternative to expensive Gorilla Pods and Switch Pods, which you know can be over $100 where I live in Canada. So, you know, this under $30, great pickup. So that is it for this what's in my camera bag video. Sorry to jump around a little bit here, but I wanted to kind of mention all of these things that I'm using. So, you know, maybe if you're building out a kit or you want to add something new to your existing kit, it'll be easy to do that with this video. That's it. Make sure to subscribe for more uh, tech videos and tutorials like this. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at KyleGNew.